Tedakoto, Talofa, Malawaleli, Bulla as we hit the final weekend of the Bunnings MPC pool play in 2021. It's the International Stadium in Rotorua as Waikato from the Premiership plays Otago from the Championship. Otago is short of a place in next week's semi-finals, but Waikato are under threat, currently second, but needing a win in tonight's game. Joined sideline by Ben Castle and in the booth by Justin Marshall. Good evening to you, Nisbo, no my hooky my. Now yeah, big number eight forward, Leo Willie for Otago. Hamilton again, Ioani looking to find the grass and he will find the grass. Could go anywhere, but it goes into touch. Uh, charging after it there was Sam Fishley. But Otago making all the early play in this game. Oh, you're back now. So just, this gives them a breather. Gives Josh Ioani talk about momentum into finals rugby and Otago, well, they know they'll be up against Manawatu next week. So, so first points opportunity in the game. Keeps his head down and hits the post. And it's well taken down by Luila. Looking to turn him over, but it's Waikato who get the penalty. Hamilton again. Again, it's uh, Leo Willey, the number eight forward. Hamilton thought about a dab and close. Got it off to Honick. Now Ioani drops it onto the boot, waiting for it to bounce up, and it does. And Freedom Vahakolo scores for Otago. Uh, the way that he's orchestrating things, Josh Ioane, he's tried two reasonably long and flat cross kicks. This time there was no second line to be able to get across and the bounce of the ball was all about being patient, waiting for it to sit up and then gathering it in these conditions. He waited nicely, Va'akolo, and in he goes, oh, Targo strike and get some reward for their early dominance in this match. Made a real hash of that. So it's an unconverted try, scored by Freedom Vahakolo. It was touched, it was touched. Partially touched, so all those Waikato players are on side. Another kick goes away downfield. Here now is Luila. He's proved to be a hard man to put on the ground. Rush to side you are, he. I saw that. Hey, I've got it, I've got it. I've got it. I've got it. Actually, I'm going to have a second look at this. Just... Reese Marshall's taken a significant exception there. We'll just watch six tracking back here. So Marshall yeah, will pick the ball up. Oh, I'm more orange now. Let me, let me deal with it. Doesn't look good. Right, number six. Number six. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh well. Number six. So okay. he's gone for the game. That's a shoulder charge. And Otago will lose a player for 20 minutes. It's been another substitution too as we see D'Angelo Nuila line this kick up. Fabian Holland for Otago in number 19. He's come on for Will Tucker. Nuila's kick. And uh, he's been really good in the last couple of games, kicking it over 90%. Waikato's defence and close has been pretty solid all night. Here's Tomkinson. Waikato looking to get over the ball. Playing advantage here as Lynchus hands it off to Leo Woolley. Playing under a penalty advantage. So Hamilton could lob this across field. And it's well taken by Darwai. So no advantage. And back for the Otago penalty. Ioani. Over it goes. So Josh Ioani kicks his first goal of the night, a penalty. So Kane Hamilton will want to get this in quickly and out as quickly as he can. Oh boy, oh boy. It's your own fault. You had the time to put it in. Put the ball in. You waited too long. Round 16, well, they're down to 14. 
feet on the ground, then one up, it's 13 against 16, and look at the power come through. There's just nowhere to go, and once it starts moving backwards like that, well... <laughs> That's one for the highlight reel that you put right down the <laughs> bottom of the order. <laughs> oh, I, yes, you will. Yes, you will. Another penalty kick by D'Angelo Luella. And he lands his second of the night. Eight points to six. Otago lead. <laughs> now Ratama back for Luella. A little tactical kick which is claimed by Vahakolo. Oh, and uh, Waikato have got themselves offside here. Oh, that's a bad mistake to make. Ioane again, and this one is on target. So he lands a second penalty goal. And the two teams still separated. Trying to squeeze that Otago pack in together and just start keeping them low and start marching it forward. That's well done from Otago. They've got another advantage, though. Luina gets nailed. Relax. It's not scrumming straight. The guys are coming on the end. I just don't know why. Option. Ratama and Tamani were panicking. Quick tap. And in they go. It wasn't time off. It was never time off. Karoi was doing up his boot, that's him getting up off one knee. So he was doing up the lace on his yeah, boot. Yeah. He hadn't got back to the line. And Reese Marshall recognised it as did Thompson. Oh, how good. Oh, that's just smart, isn't it? Experience. Okay. Oh, that's a beauty. That is an outstanding kick, right on half time. So it looks like back to 15. Oh, that? Yeah, that's right, Slade McDowell, number 20. Off to replacement, Slade McDowell. He's going to release, and Hamilton swings it off. Ioani jabs another kick in. It's come off the head. Of, oh, that's offside. Still got advantage. Came off the uh, off Coombs Fabling. And the Waikato player played at it in a hopeless offside position. In the meantime, Kuroi sends it away for Bahakolo. Wow. He's claiming it. We'll have to check it, but that's very close. I think his legs were in the air, but two options, yeah, yeah. He gets his legs up in the air. Up and yeah, I think he grazed the line. But mind you, the point of the ball, we will slow it down for you. Uh, it's just the placement of the ball, really, as it touched the line at the same time as it's been out of that's Here we go. Oh, oh dear. Simultaneous touch. Wow, that... that it looks like that initial, initial grounding. Thank you. Yeah, try given. Wow. What a finish that is <laughs> by Freedom Vahakolo. And, and, what, and what a run from Karoi as well to have a bit of a dig. And he gets across and then just a no-look pass here, pops it out, and then Vahakolo just backs himself and the way that he propels himself to the line, outstanding. Tough kick for a right-footed kicker. And he's done pretty damn well. Oh, boy, in the wet. A conversion by Ioani. So, Waikato looking for a bit of energy as Balin Sullivan goes downfield. Now, Ratama. Good run by the little halfback. Got a bit of space here. Tongi is with him, and he's got the pace. Ryan Tongi is in, and uh, Waikato draw level. Now, that was excellent. Right from the hitter, Luila, who moved out, was nice and strong, and then when the opportunity presented itself, and he's shown this with every chance that he's had this season, Cortez Ratama, he's a very 
good runner. He's explosive. He beats two tacklers, finds himself in space. Tongia, who has been lurking in behind the breakdown, spotted the break, positioned himself nicely, and had a clean run. It was the fend on Hamilton that really gave him the momentum to push forward, and then he drew in Sullivan, per uh, Gilbert, perfectly to position Tongia. Well done. Excellent run. Cortez Ratama since he came in to replace Xavier Rowe. And the conversion from D'Angelo Luila means that Waikato... But this is a good area too. We've got options in the middle. The young man, Fabian Holland, at number 19. He's a target. So Jackson throws. Grabbed it nicely to Holland. Playing a penalty advantage here. So Otago be hard to shift this so they swing it away instead out as far as you looking wide Fannis gets through Fannis Matt Fannis is in and Otago are back in front they are back in front they knew they were under penalty advantage and it was Nuu that came in as first receiver slipped it on to Ioane and then the wide pass to Fannis Coombs failing came up really quickly to try and Cut him off. He is unable to do that because he produced the big step. You can see here. So here's the pass out to Nu. Then Joshua a second defender, left foot stop step from Fadis, and we know he's quick and gets the job done. Otago go back into the lead. So Yuani looking to add the extra two, and straight down the middle it goes. And so Otago have a five-point advantage with just over 15 minutes left in the game. Oh, it's sitting there. Can anyone strike for it? No. Wow. So now Reese Dickinson gets to feed for Waikato. It's safely in the scrum there. As Dickinson brings it out, off to Luila, who's strong. Just a couple of metres short of the line. Quick pass across, and the try is scored by James Tucker. And it should be converted. Uh, and they've paid the ultimate price for a, for a minor error at the scrum, gifting Waikato their opportunity to put him in the danger zone, and like he has been all night, D'Angelo Luila, big and strong, beats two tacklers. They only just managed to pull him down, but the damage is done over the ad line. From there, it's just a quick pop up into the hands of James Tucker and Waikato strike. That occasion out of the scrum, looking up, bit of momentum. Try converted by Luila. Ball will be there for Ascot. There goes the siren, so last throw of the dice as McDowell makes it over the 22. Ascot again. Oh, it's been dropped, no, went back. No, it didn't. It went back initially. And the second time was a knock on. Final whistle blows. Otago sneak home, and they will host a semi final in the Premiership next week. Well, when they needed to find the moments, Waikato, they absolutely did. Otago dominated the stats, but they didn't dominate the scoreboard.